we've worked with a lot of other photographers, some really great, uh, interesting um, uh, photographers that we could talk about for a while. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd like to go in and start talking a little bit about your work, because I think, uh, well, we got a stack of photos here, and, um, you know, I'd like to get into it a bit. Because uh, your style is really, it's just cool. Like, I mean, you know, it's... <laughs> Thanks, <James. laughs> I mean, you know, it's interesting, it feels personal, it has, you know, a very street aesthetic, you know, I think the way you use color and film, um, you know, you can see where those lessons paid off from Art Center, because, you know, it is um, unique in that sense, that your personality does come through uh, in the work. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about this first photo here. Okay, well, uh, this is uh, my buddy Bryant, and... Uh, his cute baby, Lennox. I think this was the first time I s or this yeah, this was the first time I saw him standing up on a skateboard. Mm -hmm. And I was totally just like, oh my god, dude, like... That is too cute. This kid, like, can barely walk. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the whole time he just kept wanting to, like, crawl up on his dad's board. And, um, and this is Makiki Park, like, where um, we always come to skate and so uh yeah just, I think he maybe he I don't know like maybe he just grew up like watching everyone skate around him but he's like super smart and just uh will pick up things by like watching others really quickly so mm -hmm. I don't know I just thought it was so cute and you know and I also thought like yeah it's cute but also like I thought like man this is probably like um something that I would, like a memory that I would want to preserve. Oh yeah. You know, so. I mean, you can imagine this kid 20 years later is going to look back at this photo yeah. and just be like, yeah, totally. that was the day. Yeah. You know? So a lot, large part of your uh, personal work is around skate culture and, you know, uh, I mean, you obviously, uh, you've been picking up skating after being around it for so long, <laughs> <suck>. you know, <laughs> but I mean, you, you've always been around that sort of culture though. And uh, yeah. I think a lot of that comes through in your style of photography as well. The spontaneity of it, the sort of, uh, yeah, I mean, things like this. Like, the fact that you see that moment and you recognize it as being something special, mm -hmm. uh, let alone, you know, like, color composition, things like that. I think that sort of acknowledgement of that moment uh, is really beautiful and unique. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can talk about some more. Okay. How about this one? This uh, is great. I love this. For, <laughs> I mean, for everyone who's uh, watching, you can see this is a guy just completely playboy posing it up while diving into the water. <laughs> this is my boyfriend, Dana, mm. and uh, he is somebody that I take a lot of photos of. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. He's just a fun, beautiful guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think... A lot of your photography has that sort of intimacy, you know, of friends and um, <laughs> personal relationships and things like that. I mean, looking mm -hmm. back at your work across the last 10, 15 years, you know, they all, it always has that interest me, uh, an intimacy of those closest around you. You know, it mm -hmm. feels like family and friends. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we see that transitioning from the first photo into this, right? Um, that's cool. So, I mean, is it the sort of thing, do you always have a camera on you? Like... Yeah, um, I mean, I always just, I always have a camera in my bag, and if I don't have a camera in my bag, you know, like, the rare days that I don't have it, I'm just like, fuck, like, wh why didn't I have my camera? Like, God damn it, like, this is, like, a photo I really want to take right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, I just always have a camera in my bag, like, I always have, like, a, a little point-and-shoot film camera, and, you know, like, Dana is, like, a perfect person to shoot, too, because, I mean, not only is he handsome but <laughs> but he's fun you know nice and, good looking guy yeah and he's like you know at, when we first started dating he was always just like oh like no like I don't really want you to take pictures of me and stuff but I just kind of told him like dude if you're gonna date a photographer you kind of have to like mm -hmm. get used to this and he, and he did and he's always he always makes the photo a lot more interesting so mm -hmm. it's almost like we're both making this photo yeah because I didn't tell him like jump into the water you know he was just like he's like he just saw that I pulled out my camera and I was gonna take a photo and he was like all right are you ready yeah and I didn't know he was gonna do this I was just like yeah 
and he just like jumped into the water like that and that's cool yeah I mean that's what's great I think that um, part of your talent is you know I mean there's a level of comfortability with the subjects here like it I'm a bit shocked that he never would I can't imagine him being shy in front of the camera with you after seeing something like this it seems yeah. so natural uh, now just a little, little tech question uh, mm -hmm. or a tech Nicole, sort of question. Okay. Uh, what are your favorite cameras to use? I mean, what is portable? You know, you're shooting a lot of film, things like that. Uh, do you have, well, what are you, what's, what's in your bag right now? Like, what do you normally keep with you? I have two cameras in my bag right now. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, but it's because I'm in China, you know? Like, That's true, yeah. I mean, I have, like, my point and shoot that it's always in my camera, but mm -hmm. the second one I just have right now because I was like, all right, this is... Um, you know, it's a camera that can't do stuff that my point and shoot. Okay. I mean, can do stuff my point and shoot can't. You know, gotcha. like longer exposures. So, mm -hmm. and w yeah. what are those two cameras? Um, it's like the point and shoot ones, like the tiny, like Olympus, um, Epic, and uh, or no, is it the Epic? I think it's just a stylus. It's the mm. shittier one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not the 2.8, it's the 3.5. Gotcha. And honestly, it's because my super cool friend, Danny, um, gave it to me for free because his uncle like had a bunch of those in his garage or something. And so he mm -hmm. was like, yeah, like, you know, I was like really sad. Like the, my Olympus Epic, the 2.8 um, aperture one broke on me. Yeah. So I was super bummed and Dana was actually going to buy um, the camera I have now off of Danny as a gift, as a surprise for me. But Danny was so cool that he was like, yeah, she can just have it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was just like, I don't even care 2.8, 3.5, like, I mean, to a certain extent, I'm kind of a nerd about that, but, yeah. um, oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm not gonna, you know, complain and be like, thanks for this free camera that sucks, <laughs> you know, like, it's actually an awesome camera, and, yeah, yeah, um, and then, so I have that, and then I also have, um, a, the Contax G2. Okay. Yeah.